Hello everyone, Rich here. In this video I'm going to show you how to use skins in VLC Media Player 1.1.11. I am assuming this documentation will also work in Mac OS X and Linux platforms. I'm using Windows, so Windows 64-bit, uh, Windows 7 specifically, so that's what I'm using. I'm assuming it will work the same on those other platforms I just mentioned, but if not, didn't have time to test it on those other platforms, or at least Linux, I don't have a Mac. Anyway, so let's get on with it. The uh, Let me just launch a DVD here with VLC Media Player. Okay, and go to a chapter. Go for it. Okay, so anyway, this is how VLC Media Player looks by default. You can click on View and do Advanced Controls. So you get the options of recording and taking a snapshot, looping and going frame by frame. Let me just get rid of that. Anyway, the point is is that you have this menu up here. You have the bar down here, and so on. Let me just get rid of that uh, bar at the bottom there. So that's how it looks by default. Okay, so that's that. Now to change the skin, you go to Tools and Preferences. If you happen to be in the all setting for the simple and all down here. Change it to simple temporarily because the interface is the first one and it's easy to get to. And we can use a custom skin, but we can't do that yet because we have to actually get a skin file. And there's a little blue link here that says VLC Skins website, which takes you here. And you just download the skin you want. As far as these instructions are concerned, I find that they really don't apply, at least on Windows, and you'll see why in a moment. So anyway, I scroll, 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 and the one that I liked was VLC 085 to 099 default, which is a simple black and white, silvery looking thing, and I like my media players to be non-complicated, as should everyone in my opinion, but that's just me. So anyway, that is the one that I got, and what I did is that I downloaded it, there's a download link on each one, you might have to scroll down to see it, and I sent that to documents and I've already downloaded it prior but it's right here default OA5 VLT and that is where I put the skin file so now I can go to use custom skin and choose and go to documents because that's where I downloaded it and if you're wondering why documents and why not into the VLC skins directory directly two reasons first of all you don't have to put it in that directory because the client is smart enough to know where to get it from and secondly putting it in your documents folder does not require any administrator permissions in Windows so that is an annoyance hurdle crossed right there out of the gate so that's why I suggested putting it into documents I do not suggest downloading it to the desktop put it in documents so you can go back and get it later if you need to so default OA5, double click. Now I've already done this before, so it says you want to replace. Yes, I do. Okay. That's basically it. So save. We do have to restart the player in order to apply the skin. So I will go ahead and play VLC. And as you see, it has that nifty black and white skin. And let's see here. Oops, wrong one. Skip that. I'm not familiar with this skin at all, which is why and I'm doing this to make a point, <laughs> which I'll explain in a second. Okay, so there, yeah, yeah, PG, 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 whatever. Come on. Okay, did we finally start? Yes, we did it. Okay. Now, as a warning to anyone that uses VLC alternative skins, you'll notice that I don't have that row of menu options up here anymore so what do you do well this skin was actually programmed correctly in the respect that this button right here brings up preferences and I can go back but I didn't know that when I first downloaded this skin originally so I actually had to hunt around and hover over buttons to see what they at least there's text descriptions that tells me what each one does like this one shows the playlist for example which is not docked it's actually a separate window for this one and you can go about this skin which is it shows text you can barely read but it looks cooler at least 
and if I want to go back to where I was I can go here and native save close go back right click play with the and we're back to the way we were so it's easy to go back if you want to pause this so be warned when using VLC skins that sometimes uh, menus move <laughs> and you may have to hunt around for them because you always want an out so to speak and um, also remember that there are tons and tons and tons of skins here I mean I have to hit page down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 <laughs> Oof. a lot you can even download all the skins if you want to right here and get it as a zip file and then just go through them if you want to. Does it enhance the functionality of the player? I really don't think so. It's strictly for appearance. Some skins might have the menus organized in such a way that you may prefer better, but I think the original is the best because you have access to everything right here. That's just my opinion. But if you want something more sleek uh, or crazy or whatever, you've got your run of the gambit here. So that's how to do it. Check it out.